With all eyes on India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, understanding the significance of the mission is becoming all the more important. The instruments deployed on the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover have designated roles to play, and their discoveries could have a long-lasting impact on human space exploration endeavours. Let's take a look at what's going to happen after Chandrayaan's three moon, moon descent. Well, upon successful soft landing on the moon's south polar region, Chandrayaan-3 will open the Vikram lander and dispatch the Pragyan rover onto the lunar surface. The rover is going to leave indeligible prints on the Indian national flag, as well as the ISRO's logo on the lunar surface. Here's what the rover's instruments are going to do. The rover's carrying two kinds of spectrometers to understand the lunar surface's composition. A spectrometer is a scientific instrument which uses different types of light waves to analyse the chemical composition of a substance, in this case, the moon's surface. One is a laser spectrometer and the other is an X-ray spectrometer. Elemental analysis of the lunar soil is expected to serve several purposes. The instruments are going to look for water on the moon's surface. This, as discovery of a water source, is crucial for all future human missions. If water ice exists in sufficient quantities, it could be a source of drinking water for those exploring the moon. It would help cool their equipment as well. Additionally, it could also be broken down to produce hydrogen for fuel and oxygen to breathe, supporting missions to Mars or lunar mining. Next, the spectrometers will also search for metals like aluminium, magnesium, silicon, iron and titanium. These metals, which are pivotal for all future on-site construction prospects. But the scientific community is most excited about one particular substance, and it's called helium-3. Helium-3 has potential as a fuel for advanced nuclear fusion reactions. For perspective, nuclear fusion is the same process that powers the sun and other stars. If harnessed on Earth, it could provide a nearly limitless and clean source of energy without the radioactive waste associated with current nuclear fission reactions. If water is detected with useful metals, at the lunar surface, it will trigger a new race to the moon and the South Pole will become one of the most viable and desirable places for setting up temporary as well as permanent settlements on the moon. The aspirations of the planet's scientific community continue to ride on ISRO's ambitious mission. If successful, Chandrayaan holds the potential to become an iconic space mission. It will also position India's humble space agency as a force to be reckoned with among the stars. Well, for more on this, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP joins us live from Bengaluru, India. We're up to a crucial stage of the mission, Siddharth. What can you tell us about the current stage and the status of the craft? So the craft is completely healthy. The mission, Oliver, is progressing as it was planned by the Indian Space Agency, ISRO. So far, there are no glitches. Everything is progressing smooth for the lunar landing pro process, which is to commence at 5.45 p.m. IST on Wednesday, which is 24 hours from now. Let's remember the fact that this is a very crucial mission. So as far as the health checks are concerned, all of them are going well. In fact, just a couple of hours ago, ISRO even released a statement saying all is go for landing uh, on Wednesday and the systems are doing extremely well so as far as the status of the craft is concerned it's continuing in its orbit for several hours now almost 72 hours now it's continuing in an orbit which is just 25 kilometers above the surface of the moon at its nearest and close to 134 kilometers above the moon at its farthest approach so this of course is not a circular orbit but it's a highly elliptical orbit which means it's an uneven orbit and from here you know the craft or the rather the Vikram lander can take on a direct path to lunar landing. So that's the purpose of staying in this particular orbit, Oliver. Siddharth MP, many thanks for your insight there.